Hey, this is AJ. I figured it's a good time to give a garden update. Things have been popping out a little bit lately. So stand by, I'll take you uh, and walk you through the garden. All right, so one thing is new is this little archway. I didn't have this the other day. Uh, and I'm still building it out. I need to do some stuff with the T-post. But the idea here is uh, we eat a lot of cucumbers. So I'm gonna be putting some cucumbers over there and letting them run out. That's way it's the kind of the first thing you grab when you come out to the garden, which is usually what we're, what we're going for. Uh, sweet potatoes are, uh, the one in the back there is popping out pretty good, but they're all, they're all growing. They're doing pretty decent. Uh, the herb garden's looking pretty good. I probably need to cut the sage back a little bit, but thyme's looking good. Oregano, uh, basil over there. Um, rosemary's looking pretty good. Um, everything else, I'm still experimenting with, with light out here, like kind of what, what grows in what area. So I'm taking note that the pepper over there is growing pretty good and the eggplant over there is growing pretty good these ones are struggling a little bit but we'll see what happens um in terms of the squash this one's my best one so far this is a, a scalloped variety of squash it's a, kind of like a different shape um, i've actually never eaten that so i don't know if it's going to taste good or not but uh it's definitely growing good so i'll probably just let this thing make its way down the line here um, put a whole bunch of wood chips in the last couple of days to kind of build this area up a little bit. So that, that's looking pretty good. Cucumbers really started popping out in the last couple of days. Uh, this one here is still struggling, but it's producing. Uh, and the other ones here, you can see them they're flowering pretty good. Uh, my wife told me something the other day I, I wasn't aware of. She said, if you ever let a cucumber like over ripen and go to yellow, that'll be a signal that the plant um, will die and kill itself. Uh, so if, even if you have um, big cucumbers, if they start to turn yellow, I would get rid of them immediately. Um, she, wherever source she got that from, she was pretty confident in it. So um, just a little word of advice. The other little squash, the uh, crooked neck, is looking pretty decent. I was out here the other day watering some stuff out. Um, peaches are still pretty small. Um, I may have to put another peach tree down there at some point because this part doesn't get too much light uh this apple oh yeah i got a little bit of a leaf right there but the other one over here is really what's uh i'm getting more life over here because i have a little bit more sun so i've been training this one you can see i'm kind of bending down the branches a little bit but uh this one's starting to pop out so i'll keep an eye on that and i'll continue to train it to into the shape that i want it to be uh plum's looking pretty good that other plum as well is looking pretty decent uh, asparagus I know I got yeah, I got a big one back there I need to pick um, so still still working on that tomatoes are coming along um, this is pretty much a, a known trick but tomatoes are self-pollinating so if you just grab the tomato plant and shake it like that which I do every day then you're, you're pretty good I'm really impressed with um, this year I put down a bunch of leaves to kind of cover up the soil and it's just so moist underneath here so I'm just going to stick with that for this year and then uh, hopefully cut down any amount of watering that I have to do. Uh, the other tomatoes on the other side are doing pretty good as well. I have a couple more cattle panels. I'm probably going to make another trellis system right over here and then I'll do something with the other one. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what yet. Uh, this is still just garlic and lentils. I think I got a couple sweet potatoes in there as well. This spot gets baked in my yard. Um, so hopefully sweet potatoes can, can handle a lot of heat, but I probably still need to mulch them in a little bit. Um, oh, got a lot of birds, <laughs> a lot of birds uh, coming into the yard now. That's pretty cool too. Um, raspberries, a little slow to pop out. I, I'm not exactly sure what the deal is with these. Um, snow peas, I was out here harvesting some this morning. I got a few more kind of running along the string over there. Again, I think it's a bad spot. Uh, sunflowers, um, I tried to do these last year, but I got them in too late and the heat just killed them. But I think they're pretty established now, so that should be pretty good. And the same thing, if I pull that mulch back, it's nice and moist in there. So hopefully they'll survive in that spot and be nice and pretty for people driving by. Uh, the persimmon's looking pretty good. Uh, comfrey, this is a hot spot, again, for comfrey. Comfrey doesn't like direct sunlight all day long, so this one might not make it. I got another one over here that should be shaded out by the fig as soon as this starts to pop out, which is, I'm getting a lot of growth down there in the bottom right now. So that's looking pretty good. Got more sweet potatoes, more crooked neck squash. Um, pomegranate, 
probably need to come back here and trim this thing out. Uh, make that one a little bit smaller. The red banana is looking good. The other pomegranate. The other pomegranate doesn't get as much sun as the other one. So you can see it's a little bit dwarfed compared to that one. So if you got pomegranates, just word to the wise, they, they like a lot of sun. So try to put it in a sunny spot. Uh, hazelnut. Um, I had the hazelnut over here in a sunnier spot last year. And it did okay, but it seems to be doing better over here. So that's, uh, that's pretty good right now. Got a couple of random tomatoes and sweet sweet potatoes and blueberries and more sweet potatoes and comfrey and peppers and all sorts of stuff. I think um, these are mulberries. Um, we'll see how they do. Um, first time trying to grow those as well. And then the rest of the blueberries down the line are, are looking pretty decent. Uh, my strawberry bush, um, this thing had some leaves on it when I first planted it and now it doesn't. So I don't know if I killed it or what's going on. Um, we'll see what happens. Then I got another comfrey plant just down in the bottom there, um, just as a kind of a chop, chop and drop. Uh, and the same thing over there by the uh, by the apple tree. Um, like I said, comfrey doesn't like too much sun, so I have this little shade barrier here to, to kind of protect it. Anyway, that's what's going on with the garden. Hope you enjoy and stay tuned for the next update.